going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is an update video for the one I just released about the young man who is a cancer patient who had his PlayStation 4 stolen from the cancer ward of the hospital where he was staying. This is a very horrible story to cover and it's really one that touches home because I've actually lost family members to cancer so I know exactly how uh, devastating this disease can actually be. But there's good news, light at the end of the tunnel, gold at the end of the rainbow so to speak for this little boy named Angus and that's also my favorite type of beef. I'll drop a link in the description. Cancer patient Angus Little happy again as donations flood in after PlayStation theft. After left wondering how someone could steal from a children's hospital, Angus Little has had his faith restored that good always beats bad. The nine-year-old cancer patient was left gutted after the PlayStation he used as a distraction while getting chemotherapy once a week at Wellington Hospital was stolen on Waitangi weekend. His story created a buzz worldwide, particularly amongst gamers, and compelled people from across the globe to do something to help. At last count, 12 consoles, count that, and 15 games had been donated, and the Wellington Hospital's foundation had been given $5,000. One man in the UK had bought the PlayStation online from his hospital bed and had it posted straight to Wellington. It was the biggest response the foundation had ever seen, Chairman Bill Day said. Quote, we just want to thank everyone who has donated PlayStations, games, and money, end quote. Once the donations had been tallied, staff would sit down and work out what was needed where on children's wards across the hospital. Angus's mother, Wendy Little, said she was in tears on Saturday, reading comments on social media of people sharing their own stories. Quote, it struck a nerve that somebody thought it was okay to steal from a children's oncology ward, end quote. The gaming community alone really, really went to town and kept spreading the word of the theft. Angus said he had to have one treatment without the PlayStation to distract him, and it made the three-hour treatment feel much longer. His mother said she was delighted there would be more consoles to go around, meaning children would not have to wait their turn while getting the treatment. Quote, it takes their minds off what's happening. Sometimes they're confined to their bed, end quote, said Miss Little. Angus's school, Rada Saint School in Nene, had also jumped into gear and was organizing a lunchtime sausage sizzle, Principal Dave Appleyard said. It was originally intended to raise money for another PlayStation, but now that money will go to his family so they can decide how to use it. While excited to see how kind others had been, Angus still had a message for whoever had stolen the console. Quote, that was a bad choice because all those kids wanted to play on it, end quote. This is good news. It's always us. It's always the people who come together in times like this. The kid has 15 PlayStation 4s now. Of course, he's going to the hospital. More than likely, he'll be able to take one home with him if he, you know, wins this tumultuous and very, very hard fight that he's in for his life. I hope this kid comes out of this thing. He's only nine years old. And God knows, uh, you know, being that young, you deserve to live. It's just really good to know that you know across the globe there are real people out there who have a heart and understand that you know sometimes people are in really bad situations that they have no control over and they lend a hand they reach into their pocket and lend a hand and god bless everybody who helped this kid out you guys let me know what you think in the comments below a nice ribbon and a bow to wrap up an old story i hope you guys liked it if you did give a thumbs up show support for the channel join the facebook group follow me on twitter and you can share your videos now and support the channel at beastlygamer.com i'm the beastly gamer and I'll see you guys next time.